welcome to Zara's mental health vlog. Today I'm going to talk about growing up with mania. For those of you who don't understand what mania is, well, it's part of being bipolar. Everybody uh, experiences a little bit of mania, but more common in having a manic episode in bipolar type 1, which is what I am. Uh, well, it's part of my diagnosis. And it's these opposite of depression where you experience intense happiness to the point where you lose all sense of the world around you. You know, it's kind of, uh, you feel invincible and you feel like you can do anything. Like, because I can't think of anything else, uh, try to jump a shark or something. And reality doesn't really kind of sink in, I guess. Um, growing up with mental health issues in general was pretty horrible because especially with manic episodes because it was very odd behavior no one understood why I was doing it most people thought I was just doing it to try to get attention and I wasn't uh, doing all these weird sporadic things and the thing is, I was never given the benefit of the doubt, so to speak. Uh, I was never, people did not like to think of the possibility that it may be a mental health issue. And that's a lot of things I notice even today, these days. Um, people don't like to talk about mental health. They don't want to and entertain the thought of someone having a mental health issue or so forth. And oftentimes, from my, this is from my experience, my experience, you may have a different experience, is that usually results in them doing very behavior that's very rude and unacceptable because they don't understand what's going on and uh, they don't understand what's going on and they just don't want to entertain the thought of it so they do things that and they end up blaming the person for their behavior as if they were misbehaving. I was like what it's like growing up with mania. In a worst case scenario, a few times, adults would actually hit me. Saying that I wasn't disciplined enough as a child. But most of the time they would say they would just go on how oh, you're not crazy like because you're not outside barking at the moon i hear that one a lot um so you're not crazy so you can't control so get out of the control and they would yell and scream at me so Growing up with it was was hard. It was difficult made by mainly by other people and it was difficult how do you control something you can't control? It's just it felt really unfair. It felt like I got cheated. Or something and and it wasn't until I was later in my late 20s I learned I had a mental disorder called bipolar type 1 and and learning more about it the more I understood my sporadic behavior 
and the odd things I do and why I do what I do is because I really can't control it. So I was, the first thing they did is put me on medication. Uh, most uh, bipolar patients are treated with a mood stabilizer. Uh, I'm treated with a, a common one known as lithium. Uh, and yeah, I, I've managed to get it somewhat under control, but medication only takes it so far. And you have to understand, it's not just a simple, with bipolar, it's not a simple issue, especially with mania and depression, where you just go, oh, just treat one, and, and uh, then just get the treatment, and it'll be fine. No, it's all about bipolar, treating bipolar is all about balancing it out. Because you're quite literally chemically imbalanced. So you're trying to get all these chemicals balanced out. And, you know, there's other things you can do, other sides of medication to help with the medication. Uh, like getting enough s proper sleep pattern, uh, diet, exercise, things like that. But, uh, yeah, I, now I understand it. It's... I'm just left with the shock that just how much people don't talk about or want to even think about the thought of mental health, the issue of mental health. Why is it not talked about? So, and that's one of the things I hope to change with these blogs is that it gets talked about. It's, People no longer try to try to keep it as this this issue where they they feel that they don't talk about it, they know probably won't feel like it won't exist. It's always going to be there. I mean, in the U.S., one in five people suffer from some sort of mental health issue. So, yeah, that's in general. Basically, growing up with Manic episodes was pretty horrible. Made more horrible by the people who just didn't want to understand. So, this is uh, Zareth signing off.